Good morning. You're watching Fox 46. Good day, Charlotte. New this morning, the holidays are in full swing, but along with it can come a whole lot of stress, especially in 2020. Joining Good Day this morning is one of our favorites. Dr. Deborah Matthew is here to share some tips on how to de-stress. Dr. Matthew, good Thursday. Good morning. You know, the holidays can be stressful on a regular year. Yeah. And 2020 is anything but that. So I think we could all use a few tips on how to get through this holiday season without completely losing it. All right, where do we start? Yes, now 2020 is going to completely mess up our traditions in a lot of ways. But keeping some of those family rituals is actually really important. It gives us a sense of predictability, a little bit of control. We do the things that we've always done the way that we've always done them, at least when we can. So some examples would be maybe you put up your holiday wreath every year. Um, in my family, the kids like to open a Christmas present on Christmas Eve. Do you yeah. have any traditions in your family? Well, I was going to say that's exactly, we do that on Christmas Eve. Uh, like this weekend, all the girls together, we're going to put the ornaments on the tree and we got music playing. We might make some cookies. I mean, that's kind of one of those things that we look forward to each and every year. So whatever those traditions are that you can keep, let's keep those because it mm. makes a big difference. Okay. The second tip. What about stress eating? Yeah. You know <laughs> you're going to eat the treats. And I would argue that's what, that's what treats are for, is yeah. for special occasions and for celebrating. But if you are going to eat the treats, let's eat some healthy foods too. You know, it doesn't take much to chomp on a couple of pieces of cucumber, even if you're not hungry and it doesn't appeal to you, just eat the veggies anyway. You know they're good for you and they will make you feel better if you're giving your body the nutrients that it needs. I like that. Maybe between every cookie, you have a handful of yeah. veggies or something like sure, that. Sure, have a okay. carrot what about, what about exercise? Keep moving. It's tough when it's so cold and yucky outside sometimes. It's cold, it's dark. Gyms are kind of tricky nowadays, but if you move your body, it is an excellent stress reducer. So you can you can work out at home, you can use videos, you can go for a walk, you can get down on the floor and do a couple of push-ups. But do it because it makes you feel better, not because it's an extra thing that you're supposed to do. Mm, speaking of feeling better, sometimes having an, an attitude of gratitude can actually help with that, don't you think? That's right. We've talked about this before. When you are really stressed, if you will stop and think of three things that you are grateful for, it just really changes how you feel on the inside. You can have a gratitude journal, and if you're especially feeling stressed over this holiday season, once a day, sit down, write out those three things that you're grateful for. You can write them down and stick them on your fridge, but it's very difficult to feel stressed and anxious and grateful at the same time. And speaking of that, almost out of time, Dr. Matthew, but most people are just ready to get the dumpster fire 2020 out of their way and move on to 2021. Is there a way to maybe have a good attitude about this year? You know, if we can focus on the things that we can have some control over, don't sweat the things that are completely beyond your control. Um, having a good attitude really makes a big difference. You can't always control your circumstances, but you have some control over what you choose to think about. Oh, I love that. And boy, if you've got kids, they are... Uh, they are model. You are the model if you're the parent. Kids are watching this, and they will be. Uh, right. You'll be an example. So if you complain, they're going to complain. So it starts in the house. So Dr. Matthew, you know what? We are grateful for you. So thank you for those tips. Appreciate it, and we wish you the uh, the best weekend. Happy holidays. All right. Thank you. You too.